Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Oldham Athletic against Mansfield Town. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they play with a diamond in midfield, which makes the role of the holding midfield player so important. Is he there to dictate the play with his passing or be a defensive screen? I'd hope he could do both jobs. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Murphy. McLaughlin. Stephen Quinn. Jamie Murphy has it. Well, they keep passing away. Longstaff, Murphy, pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate. And the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Whelan, Adams, and does well to keep it in play. Terrific block. McLaughlin. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. <laughs> Playing it short. Putting his body on the line. Quinn. Decent position. And a goal kick is the outcome.
How can he take them on and beat them? Chance to play it in. Is this the moment? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Sutton at times they make passing look easy Whelan with it Pope making high pressing work for them here Space and time for the cross. Determined defending. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Takes aim. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, opting for the short corner. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Well, we're almost at the halfway stage and they're not making home advantage work for them one little bit here. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they've been outplayed in this first half and they need that half-time whistle to come soon so they can regroup, change one or two things tactically and come out with a better attitude in the second 45. And we are going to have two additional minutes. McLaughlin. The first half here comes to an end. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, he's been at the heart of everything today. He's passed it well, he's always been available, and he's done a good job at winning the ball back. And, of course, he's got an assist to his name. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Clark. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Sutton. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Long staff. Options in the middle. Could be dangerous. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Promising sequence. And blocked for now. Adams.
using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Longstaff. Hewitt. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Chances on. Off the post and back in play. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, as you can see, he's first to react, he's first to the ball, and he deserves his goal. That's an excellent finish. Three goals without reply. Whelan with it. Hope. Akins. And breaking at pace with Menace. Will he play it in? And cut again from the flank. Oh, did so well to deny him. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Taken short. Quinn. Fruitful looking attack. Losing possession a bit easily. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Difficult to stop him. The cross is on. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And they're making a change. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. Is this the moment? And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick, and nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. Well, here's the replay, and there's an obvious deflection. Certainly enough to beat the keeper. He got a bit lucky there. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. An alert intervention. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a wild, wild attempt from distance. Not one for the highlight reel, Stuart. Well, that's a waste. He had much better options there.
In possession, Sam Hart. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Might really be able to trouble them here. Whelan. Nicky Adams. Crossing possibilities. Well, no problems defensively. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.